Frank, Frank came from a shelter in Alabama. The shelter had asked our foster coordinator kind of last minute if we would take Frank on our upcoming journey to Secondhand Hounds. Of course we said yes. He had a ton of health issues. He was obese, he was heartworm positive, he had a big hernia on his butt, his teeth were rotten, and he had potential heart problems. Also, he was an emotionally broken dog. Uh, he didn't trust anyone, he was quick to bite. We had a lot of work to do. Worked with the secondhand hound vet team and started getting him healthy again. It took us about three months to get everything under control. He was treated for his heartworms. He lost about a third of his body weight. Uh, he had all of his teeth removed. He had his hernia repaired. So after all of his medical stuff was taken care of, we're like, let's give, let's give Frank adopted. And we didn't really call him Frank the Tank anymore since he was pretty darn skinny. So Frank went up for adoption and no short shortness of adoption applications. I mean, he was a pretty handsome dude at that point. And we thought pretty quickly that we found his forever home, but it kind of turned out that Frank wasn't quite ready to leave secondhand hounds yet. Uh, Frank was returned and he came back to his foster, me, and we're like, okay, Frank, let's figure this out. You're gonna need a really special home. So even though all of his health stuff was taken care of, he was still pretty emotionally rocky. He still bit you, but at this point, he didn't have any teeth, so he gummed you. He needed an adapter that was just gonna kind of let Frank be Frank, the grumpy old man that he was that someone was gonna fall in love with, because I'll tell you, I fell in love with this dude. Kind of fate decided to take her own course. One of the nurses that I work with uh, infrequently heard about Frank, and one thing led to another, and Frank had a new mama and she loves this dude, loves every quirk. Let me tell you, Frank's living the good life. He sleeps in mama's bed uh, and he gets homemade food for dinner. So Frank is living the good life and that's exactly what he deserves after not such a great life before. And really, it's, it's thanks to Secondhand Hounds for doing that.